got an interesting story to tell as a kid growing up in rural Georgia. But let's go back 150 years where it all really started. Don't she rock em, daddy, oh, don't she rock em, daddy, oh, don't she rock em, daddy, oh. This is General Jedediah Levi Rackley, my great uncle, who, as you'll come to learn, wasn't the nicest guy around. He hired some rustlers to hide his stolen Yankee gold and a pair of pearl-handled pistols in an old mining tunnel. Oh, this is General. General, sir. Gentlemen, you bear that treasure? Didn't tell no one that. No, sir. We, we didn't tell, tell nobody. Check it one more time. Make sure it's right. Yes, sir. Come on, let's go. The general wanted to be sure his treasures would never be discovered. And that meant making good and sure no one ever even knew about them. The general's plan detoured when he dropped his map on his ride out of town. A couple of boys saw it and changed the course of history. Karma found General Rackley later that day when he fell off his horse, hit his head, and remembered nothing about a map. I think it's a treasure map, Jimmy. Why would General Lee have it? You think it's janky gold? Let's go find it. No, it's too dangerous. I think we should hide it for now. I have the perfect place. Hurry up with that. We gotta go help Pa in the field. Let's go, six and a half. I'm gonna go seven hundred. Seven and a half. I'm gonna go seven and a half. Let's go seven and a half. Everybody, seven and a half. All in at seven and a half. Seven and a half. Now eight hundred. Eight hundred to bid. You're to bid, sir. Eight hundred. Let's go. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Anybody? Eight hundred. Eight and a half. Go eight and a half. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Go nine hundred. Nine hundred. Let's go. All in at nine hundred. So. Oh, all righty, folks. Here we have next item up on the block. We got a mystery box. In the mystery box, you never know what you're going to find. Let's go. Who to get started? Give me $5. $5 and go. Anybody five, five, have enough five. Anybody $5? I got $5 bid. Now seven and a half. Anybody got seven and a half? Seven and a half, now 10. 10, 10, have to go 10. Anybody $10? 10, 10, have to go 10. Anybody $10? Got $10 now, 12 and a half. I better not 12 and a half. Anybody got 12 and a half? 12 and a half. Now 15. $15. Have to go 15. Got 15. Now 20. Got $20. Please, Anybody got $20? Sold. $20. Mom, Mom, can you hold this box? I'll hold it for you. Give me a back. Mom, 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 he stole my box.
did you see? Well, it was a nice turnout. Ah, oh, you were loved by so many. Oh, babe. Don't you worry. I'm gonna make you so proud of our boys. You did such an amazing job. I am so lost. So lost without you. And I'm missing you so much. But I know you're not in pain anymore. I love you. Forever and a day. Thank you, Tammy. Thanks for coming out. Thanks so much for coming. Did you do your math homework? No. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> I'll race you to school. Really? I would totally beat you. No, I'd win this. No, you wouldn't. If you actually wanted to race, I could beat you easily. Well, I mean, sure. You try that. So much hey! <laughs> so long, sucker! <laughs> Bucks for sure, a little candy dish. $29.97. I could probably get about 15 bucks for that. Some little kid. Ooh, just what I always wanted. Stars and stripes, butt kickers. DJ. Check this out. Is it worth anything? I think this might be our ticket, baby. Right here. Oh! <laughs> Glad you could join us, Mr. Rackley. All right, so you're all on page 399. Page 399. We talk about Shakespeare and the hey, language of Shakespeare. 
What happened to you? Porn pushed me off dead man's cliff. Why? We were racing, because I was winning. Wait, you mean off, off? Yeah, I was flying like an F-16. <laughs> From today's language. You could also make two columns on your paper and write down similarities and differences. Everyone got it? OK. Has anyone ever heard of iambic pentameter before or can tell me anything about that term? I know. Anyone? I know. I know. Anyone? Well, we're going to learn all about it, so you'll all know what iambic pentameter is by the end of class on Friday. Spider! Buddy. You went on a little trip, didn't you? Yes, you did. What happened? This landed on you. Bingo! <laughs> Where you going, man? Just strip out your wires, never mind. I'm always leaving by myself. I hurt my feelings, man. Dude, I found a cave when I fell down Dead Man's Cliff. That's cool. We should go check that out. Though. I know. <laughs> I love the smell of training in the morning. It smells like nature. There you go. Come on, men! How I like to see it now. Who are we? Back, back. Can't hear you! Back, back. Let's go! My brothers and I were Army brats, and we loved playing Army after school. What do you think they do in there? Probably talk about us. <laughs> hey, let's go check it out. I don't want to make Joe mad at me. <sighs> Fine, chicken. I'll do it. Tammy was the only girl allowed in the rack pack, but she still wasn't welcome in the clubhouse. Hey, no girls allowed! <laughs> Told ya. Go on. <laughs> I call 
call this meeting to order. Okay, guys. We've been planning this camp out for a couple of weeks now. Everyone should know what to do. Yeah. What are we doing exactly? Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at the board of stick figures. Yeah. Yeah. Are y'all serious? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, follow me here. Mark, Tommy, Manny. It's all right here, fellas. Looks nothing like me. DJ! Yeah, over here, boss. You, my friend, are gonna love this. We gotta go for a little drive, come on. Where are we going? We are gonna go to old man Grady's house. Old man Grady's house? Crazy? This place is horny. That's right. You know what happened to me there when I was 13 years old? I screamed like a little girl. Look, come on. She screamed like a little girl. Look, don't cry, son. Let's go. I screamed like a little girl. That was the old me. <laughs> Back from this, this, this little ghost mansion of yours, your, your little ghost idea. Maybe we should get all the money and get all the, all the goods and have a little nice trip. Go to uh, Mexico and have some margaritas and quesadillas, huh? That's right. And don't forget the senoritas. <laughs> <laughs> Flirt till it hurts. <laughs> Come on, man. Some kid probably drew that map. You want to shut up and keep looking? Man, you, you, I got chiggers and ticks, and we're out here chasing some stinky... Hey, who are those two guys? I don't know. They're Viet Cong spies. Let's follow them. Come on. Ted, man, there's, there's probably some big spiders, bro, or some, or some ghosts. I don't know about them ghosts, but I ain't never been hurt too bad by a little spider. Cause I don't like spiders. <laughs> man, I'm serious. on it? Not really, but we gotta get it back. How are we going to do that? I don't know. Map. What are those kids up to? I mean, that's a creepy place. About to make us rich, son. Come I'm on. I'm not about to be a star. I'm Come on. Every you know? <laughs> <laughs> time I'm telling you, I'm still afraid of the dark, right? <laughs> there it is. Rise and shine, sleepy heads. Morning, Dad. Morning, Dad. Good morning, guys. All right. Deflection. 
Three, two, seven, quadrant, Gerald's plate, fire! Me next. Fire! Thanks, Dad. Ain't nothing like waking up and getting your head chopped off. There you go. Where's your brother? Well, here we go again. You're wasting your time. Clang, clang, clang. Here we go every morning with this. Hot sucker, I'm already up. Oh, man. <laughs> Maybe next time. Told you so. If you need any yard work done, I work for Army Patches. Never heard that before. I work for Patches. Daryl, you done yet? Yes, sir. Good. Come on up here. Cool off. kid I know that cuts grass for army patches. There's something else. Here's a picture. It might be someone you know. Daryl. Yep. Ain't you forgetting something? Oh, yeah, sorry, Colonel Lamb. Well, what were those two men doing in the woods the other day? I don't know. They had some kind of old map. A map? Yeah. And it had this patch on it. If we weren't training for battle, we were at the construction site having dirt clog wars. Fire! Atomic bomb! Oh, yeah! Fire! Fire! Where's your headquarters? Where's your headquarters, dork? Hey, stop! You're not playing! Oh, I'm playing. Yeah, we're definitely playing. What'd the bank say? Well, what about the permits? Hey, Mr. Winters. Hey, Daryl. 
Is Mark home? Yeah, he sure is. Go on in. All right, well, let's And uh, then she lost her keys to her car, so I offered to drive her. Come on, this can be awesome. Hey, I thought you boys were spending the night at Tommy's. We are. I just came back to get my bag. You mean this? Yeah. Where's Gerald and Lauren? Oh, they're uh, spending the night camping out with Billy. Willie? Oh, Billy. I thought you said Willie. See you tomorrow, Dad. Bye, Mr. Rackley. You boys have fun. kids up to. Talk to my mom. My dad is mad about something. Right. Can Tommy spend the night and go swimming in the morning? Uh, what, Tommy? I'll call you back, okay? What is it? Daryl asked if I can spend the night and go swimming tomorrow. No, of course you can. What's your name, Mr. Ackley? Oh, Tammy. Uh, uh, spying. Oh, I love spying. Can I help? I do it all the time. Um, I'm actually done. I'm gonna go. I'll see you, Tammy. Okay. a spider, you'll kill it for me, right? You don't like spiders. No. They see in my dreams. Every everything. I thought I saw a spider. You scared me like that, man. What's your problem, man? I told you I wasn't joking with you. Freaking... This place is freaking me out. If we're here any longer, I might wet my pants. In here. That's too damn I wanted to go. Good. What we got out here, the better. Yeah, all right. I'm good. Just, uh, just a little bit scared, but no biggie. Yeah. Why don't you go and make that phone call? Cool, cool. I'll do the rest of my own. Cool. That's what I'm waiting here. Are you taking the light? Man, you know I can't sleep without a nightlight, man. Gotta have this thing. Spider. 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 All right, Manny, are you sure you want to be in the rack pack? Yeah, man, I really do. Then you're going to have to catch a snipe. What's that? Man, he can't be in the rack pack. He didn't even know what a snipe is. Oh, a snipe. I thought he said something else. Okay. What was that? Really, Tammy? You had a fall? But you two left feet. So, Lauren will demonstrate. Had to hold the bag out. So you get down, you close your eyes, and you have to yell real loud. Like this. Here, snipe, 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 snipe! Alright? How do you know when you catch one? Um, the bag will jerk. You'll close it up and you'll bring it to us. Okay. All right. But remember, the louder you are, the better, because snipes are hard of hearing. Snipe hunting was a prank we pulled on kids who wanted to join the rack pack. Snipey, 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 a snipey. prank because snipes aren't real. 
He said, close my eyes. So, here, Stipey, 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 Stipey. But this one time, this kid named Manny unknowingly turned the tables on us. It's about time yeah. you guys got here. We got Manny catching snipes. <laughs> nice. It was Victoria Growler who masterminded the plan to steal the general's lost treasure. I gotta call Victoria. I gotta, 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 I gotta get more boots on the ground. Rothschild? Yes, ma'am. Contact Prune Lips and see if he has my money. Would you like me to do that? No, madam. Okay, well then move! Chop, chop! I think I got one. Hey, so when does this war start? As soon as the tents are set up and the foxholes are dug in. Never had a night war before. Me neither, Tommy. How are we going to see? <laughs> That's just it. You're not. Man, this is going to be awesome. Yeah. Awesome. What is that? I don't know, but it sounds like it's coming closer. It sounds like someone's saying, I got one. In the bag. I got a snipe. What do you mean you got one? I did it just like you said, and I caught one. Well, did you see it? Nope. You said close your eyes, then the bag jerked, and I closed it up. Hey, it's DJ. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna need some help. Watch it. Yeah, about a truck and four more guys should do it. Good grief! What do you need more men for? Mommy, okay. mommy. I'll get you more men. I got this guy, Antonio, and he just got out of prison. He needs to work, and he'll do whatever it takes to get the job done. And make sure you get me that gun. Moron. Man, I ain't talking to that woman. What's the matter, baby? You know mommy's doing business. What did mommy tell you when she's doing business? You need to always go to the staff first. Now what is it? Okay guys, settle down. Let me tell you a little story about me and Lauren going to old Grady's place. You mean that place deep in the woods with all the vines over it? That's the one. It's real dark out. Darker than this. We open the door. Why? Yeah, why would you do that? Are you crazy? Just to check it out. We opened the door and we didn't see nothing. It was real dark. Then I saw a man. Civil War soldier with the rifle standing guard. That didn't happen. Did too. Okay, then what happened next? Just let me finish. He slowly raised his rifle. His eyes were bright red. Real scary. And then he said, Dude, cut it out. Turn the light back on. Crap. What? It's dead. This is so weak. It's okay. Calm down. I know where Grady's is. Follow me. This isn't good. This isn't, isn't good at all. We should go back. Grady's house is just up here. Follow me. But you've got to be quiet. If anything happens, meet back here. What do you mean if anything happens? You know what I mean. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. If we see a ghost, we meet back here. What? 
A ghost? What are you people crazy? Someone lives here? No, it's supposed to be empty. Uh, hello? Ghosts don't use lights. Hey, it could be those guys that me and Manny saw. Lauren, go to the window. Take Doug. <laughs> That's okay. I've seen enough. Let's go home. Yeah, let's get out of here. What was that? Hi. You said if I saw something to meet here. Well, two crooks in a house is something. Oh my God. I know it's creepy. I'll bet he's wanted. That was too close. I wonder if there's a reward. It's probably just a bum. Do y'all want to go home or camp out and have this war in the morning? Yeah, let's camp out and have the war tomorrow. Yeah. Sounds good. See you guys. So I call Victoria. She'll have her guys over at 8 p.m. tomorrow. Perfect. It's all working out. Tomorrow's gonna be a big day. Tomorrow's gonna be a huge day. <laughs> What? Nothing is by you. You are sharp as a tiger. What did I say? Single file! This is breakfast? Yeah. Put your belly aching shoulder. Grab one and move out! You know, it's not that bad. See anything? Can't see nothing. Anything yet? Manny, I will tell you when I see something. This is gonna be awesome. What the heck is that? What is it? I don't know. Well, what is it? You want me to sound the alarm? Let me see. Holy God, we're rolling! Ah! Fight! Doesn't look good, soldier. Am I gonna make it? I think you live, soldier. Come on.
chair. It's old. And creepy. You didn't really sit in it? No, it's creepy. Just yeah, like, it's why is there place. in here? Guys, check this out. What is it? Come see the legendary Patton Pistols. Tammy, watch out, there's a ghost! I'm sure. Is that really the only thing in here? I mean, there's this old chair that may or okay, may not. Okay, it's the only thing in here, so we've already looked at it. Let's just get out of here before stuff happens. Well, 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 looky here! <laughs> Come back here! Get out of here, you idiot! No, no! That ought to do the trick. Shouldn't be seeing them anymore. We've got to go back. I checked that room. He wasn't in there. He didn't come through the front because I was in there. But why were you there? I don't have to explain myself to you. Whew. Women. Excuse me? Hey, how could he come in? Had to be a hidden door or something. Like secret rooms or? Yeah, the tunnels. What do you mean tunnels? Me and Manny, we went over there and we found a map of a tunnel system. It said tunnels across the top, and it had the date 1862. It had the museum, it had the bank, and it had Old Man Grady's. You're positive. I saw it clear as day. Then I guess we gotta go back. He can't be serious. He could have left. But what if he didn't? And he catches us. We're dead meat. It's decided. Are you sure? We're going back. Let's go. Dad's whistling. Yeah. Are you guys going? Yeah. yeah. Bye, guys. See you, Tammy. See you, Mark. Bye, Tammy. You want to do the you know, rack pack handshake? Is it real? Every time! Dad, if you knew something was going to happen, would you try to stop it? Yeah, it depends on what it is. Well, what if it was like a bank robbery, for example? Well, that sounds dangerous. I'd, I'd contact the police. Why all the questions? Well, we saw these two guys, and we followed them in the woods. They have a tunnel at Old Man Grady's place. What? Yeah. Okay, first of all, why are you in the woods? We were going to Grady's place when we kind of came across all this. Old man Grady's? Yeah, Gerald saw a piece of paper that had... That's enough! I don't want you boys following anybody anymore. And you stay out of the woods, do you hear me? Are we clear? But Dad, we gotta stop them. Did you hear me? You leave them alone. Why'd you have to say anything? You heard me. Not another word. Daryl, come back here. And you know better. But Dad... Good night, buddy. Good night, Dad.
Gerald, you have got to watch your brothers when I'm at work. Yes, sir. Good night. And, uh, you boys, uh, stay at home tomorrow. Good night, Dad. Hey, Mr. Ackley. Hey, Debbie. Look, I know it's late, but it, is there any chance you could look after the kids for a couple of hours? Sure. Uh, let me grab a few things. I'll be right over. Thanks a lot. Hey, thanks for doing this. It's fine. Um, here, come on in. I, it'll only be a couple of hours. I um, just have to go check out Grady's place. Take your time. Sorry uh, to disturb you. Um, heard that somebody was living out here again, and uh, just came out to see who it was. What are you, like a welcoming comedian? Uh, no, I'm a concerned parent. What you concerned about? My kids play in these woods. Oh, them pesky little brats have been terrorizing me. Them's your kids. I, I don't think there's a need to be talking. <laughs> Come on down, princess. No funny business. If you ever want to see your kids again. Right there, hot shot. <coughs> Tie them up. That's C4. You got this place rigged with explosives. Oh, yeah. That's my insurance. I wouldn't worry about it. You just be a good little boy, and I won't blow this place up to smithereens. You're not getting away with us. Put that gag on him. With pleasure. This is what you get for being a concerned parent. <laughs> <laughs> Good What's wrong? Crash got your tongue? Make you feel better about it? I worked out in those pants too. Oh. Enjoy. <laughs> Debbie's on the couch, sleeping. Hot babysitter, Debbie? What are y'all looking at? You. Knock it off, Romeo. Do you know where her dad is? He asked me to watch out. He said he had to go check something out. At a bar, I think, Grady's. He said Grady's? Yeah, I, I think that was it. I I've never heard of it. Must be new. I usually watch my brothers and I, so I'm fine. We're fine. Are you sure? Yeah, totally. Debbie said something about Dad going to Grady's place. You think Dad's at Grady's place? Dad's not here, but his car is. I think Dad's in trouble. Let's go get Daryl. Daryl, wake up! Get him up! What are you doing? I'm dreaming. I was fighting the guy in the house. We think they took Dad. Come on, let's go.
Dad from there last night. So they do have dad. Daryl, find that trap door. You mean this trap door? Oh. Whoa. Oh. It's down there. Whatever it is, it's dark. Someone go check it out. Daryl, you go. Me? Yeah, there's a ladder. What do you see? What's down there? It's a huge tunnel. A what? A tunnel. It's really big. Victoria said you needed some guys here at 8, so here we are. We showed up at 8. 8 tonight, you moron! Huh? Tonight? I could... We could go back. No problem. You're here now. Let's just go ahead and get to work. All right, DJ! Okay. Okay. It's okay, guys. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Good. Dad has to be in one of these tunnels. You might have to split up. Are you crazy? You never split up. Don't you watch movies? When you split up, people die. They'll be such babies. All right, either way, we have to find Dad. Exactly. So what are you going to do? Oh, well, let's just explore. we got to find him at one point. Oh, oh I got a splinter. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so hot. Oh. Ted, where'd you go? It's okay, guys. I made it. Come on down. Hurry up. What is this creepy? Smells like poo. Oh, look at this guy. Who is this guy? You want me to smack him? I'll smack him good. I'll smack you. I'll smack you. It's okay, guys. I got it. Hey, hey, Ted, where'd you go? Come on, guys. Watch out for that mess. It's, it's slippery here. Yourself, mister. Daryl, yeah. you've got those fireworks? <laughs> yeah. We might have to use them so we can explore these tunnels. Got it. Come on, hurry up. Trying. Yeah, hurry up, Daryl. I don't want to be down here longer than we have to. It's so creepy. <laughs> Cut it out, Lauren. He's got to get this fuse. Is this moss? I don't know. Daryl, hold that. It's strange down here. I don't like it. All right, we're done. We're done? Yep. Okay, let's go. All right. Let's go. Do that. I thought you were covering our rear. What? I thought you were covering our rear. I am. Thanks. Smells like some smoke or something. Smoke. What the heck is that? What is that? Yeah, we uh, it's uh that, that's a, let's get out of here.
think you like me, Daryl? Jeez. What happened? Well, we ran into a little problem down there with them rats. They just were setting up booby traps all over the dang place. It was so bad. There were like 50 kids with bazookas and bottle rockets and everything. Let me show you guys how to handle kids. DJ's not about to get punked by somebody who still sees a pediatrician. Oh. Hmm. Get out of there. Hey, one DJ? I'll show you, DJ. Yeah. I'm ready to show him, DJ. Yeah. Y'all ready, eh? What was that? What was that? It's okay. What was that? What was that? Yeah. Y'all ready for DJ? Right there, I hear him. Go! Wait, I know this place. This is the museum. Really? Yeah. So what's the plan? Let's go get help. Come on, Jimmy. Okay. Okay, this way. What are you grinning at? I left him a present. <laughs> nice one. DJ, you okay, buddy? Hey, just pull it together, okay? Let's get out of here now. I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. It's just these kids, these kids are really ticking me off. These tones are so hot, they're sweating prints on my come shirt. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's starting to look like go. a Warshack test. You guys check the bathrooms. Let's find these little rats and get out of here. We coming. We coming. I know you're in here! I got a gun! Since when did you have enough money to get a gun? You are so D-U-M. Excuse me, Mr. Moneybags. You think you're smarter than Antonio? You're not smarter than Antonio. I'll get you, you kids.
You didn't find him? Where did the kids go? Hey, I can't find anyone. Oh my goodness. Go there. Go that way. I'll go up the stairs. I don't want to throw that creep no more. These sneakers that are supposed to make me run faster and it just slow me down. I don't run this step. Yes, sir. Out of here right now. Antonio! Let's go! Hey, did you see that sloth back there? That big skeleton thing? Yeah, that's the, you know that's not actually a dinosaur, right? That's actually from prehistoric times back in the day. Where's Antonio? I have no idea, but I ain't sticking around to find out. You can't leave him here, that's our whole plan. <laughs> Alright, just shut up, shut up. Let's go find him. Let's just go find him. Shut up. No. Tell us where our dad is! I ain't saying nothing. Really? <laughs> See this? This here is a 312 hand cranked field phone. What you gonna do with that? Armed in. right now? I just armed it. And see these? These are wires duct taped to your ear. And if you don't tell us where our dad is. I ain't telling you anything. Really? You're about to. <laughs> Stop it, stop it, stop it! Stop! Stop! Your dad's in tunnel all the way to the other end. Please don't do that again. No! 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 Didn't he say do it again? Do it again, do it again. Don't do that again. No! No! Stop! I told you. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Just don't, don't crank it again. Please don't crank it. Do it again. No! Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. I've had just about enough of this little game and chasing you little runs around your little museum. You better come up. Oh, oh. Yes. 
Ha <laughs> ha! Eat it, fool! Oh, snap! Come on, boy. Let's see what they got hiding around here. You know there's something. Come on, boy. Hey, let's get into the warehouse. Come on, let's go over here. Hello? Hey, look at here, Sarge, we, Sar Sarge, Sarge, where are you at? Sarge, 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 are you out here? Sarge, 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 why'd you leave me? How the heck did you get down there? Are you okay, buddy? Are you all right? I'm coming down there for you. Sarge, 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 you all right, boy? How the heck did you get down here? Stay right there. Sarge, I told you to stay. Wait, who is that? Who's there? I'm Pryor. Rackley? Rackley, what are you doing down here, man? What are you doing? Are you okay? Can you move? Get that dog away from me. He's licking his breath is rank. If that dog hadn't got away from me, I would have never found you, son. Oh, I'll remember that when I get him a minty biscuit next time. Where are my kids? Oh, your kids are out looking for you. Get me home. Let's get you untied first, man. They gotta be worried sick. Yeah, seriously. How, how the heck did you get down here? Oh, Come on. Don't ask. Come on. Oh. Go ahead. Oh. I didn't know who to call, so I called you guys. Jones Museum's only open Monday through Fridays. Take a look at this nut. I know the museum's only open Monday through Friday. There was a bunch of kids. They're crazy. They blew me up, they were gonna shoot me in the face with a poop stick and they shot me with a phone. Poop stick? These kids mean more than just riddling, man. Mess with the wrong kids. Go check the museum. I'll call this in. Who the crap is oh, a rack quiet. pack, man? Oh, quiet. Get the chop in your face. It's, awesome. <laughs> it's a bunch of kids, man. Quiet down. Poop in my face, dude. They put poop in my face, dude. Look at you. Man, these so, kids really did a number on you. Dang, kids. It's a bomb. Oh, that's real good. Well, do something about it. What do you do? Well, don't you know how to make it stop? There's always a green wire. Yeah, but there is no green wire. There's a, there's a red wire and there's, there's a white wire. So, so what does that make? That, that makes pink, but that ain't green. It ain't, there's no green wire. Look, it's a phone, it's a phone. What you gotta do, you gotta push a button to make it stop or, 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 or turn it off. Just just don't send, send. Don't push send. That way, it's a flip phone. It's a phone, daggone it. It's a phone, flip it, flip it, flip it. I didn't want it to go off. I didn't go. Oh, good. I got a good leg. I mean, oh, damn it. Oh, you did it, brother. You did it. All right. I guess we leave that here, right? Do we, I'm not taking I, it. I ain't touching that stuff. No, let's get out of here. Let's go. Wait. Did you hear that? Hear what? 
I thought I heard something. Look, you go get the MPs. I'm gonna stay down here and look. All right, come on, Sarge. We'll take care of this. Sarge, come on. Gentlemen. Sir. Are those kids all right? We haven't found them yet, sir. Well, you know they're probably scared and, and hiding somewhere, right? Uh, I doubt that. They caught all the crooks and said they're going to find their dad. Did you get all of them? Yes, sir. Had them duct taped and hogtied. Well, what about the tunnels? What tunnels? Listen, there's tunnels that we found out that led, we think they're leading directly to here. We went all through them looking for guides and looking for what, but we think they're leading right here to this, this museum. Colonel Land, we didn't see a tunnel. Listen, they got in here, right? Yes, sir. The doors were all secure? Yes, yes sir. sir. Well, then I think you better, you better look around again to see if you can find some way that those tunnels might lead here and somebody getting in this place. Copy that. Yeah. Roger that. Get to it. Yes, sir. Dead end. We should go back. Why are you scared? I Ooh. cut it out. Ugh. Whoa. Whoa. Where the <laughs> heck are we? Nice. <laughs> nice. What's in the chest? <laughs> You've got to be kidding. I thought the guns were cool. <laughs> what, do we do? what do we do now? Let's find Dad. I'm going to go out to make sure it's safe. Wait a minute. That is Dad's whistle. Police are trying to figure out just how a group of kids managed to foil five bumbling criminals. Meantime, historians are combing through 150-year-old artifacts buried deep underneath the museum. Now these artifacts never would have been discovered had it not been for the brave band of brothers calling themselves the Rack Pack. The gold! The gold. What gold? All right, let's have it. What gold?